Hey guys, Dean here. In today's dropshipping video, we're going to be jumping into the top 10 winning products which you should be selling right now in October 2022. As with the theme of the holiday at the end of the month, this is going to be entirely themed and focused around Halloween because this is a huge seasonal event which you should be taking advantage of and leveraging for the duration of this month. So everything in this video is going to be pertaining to Halloween products, Halloween products with a gimmick, and cool little gadgets and toys that you can sell during Halloween which may be cool for a limited time store. So if you're going to start up that Shopify trial and start a store for this month, consider theming it around Halloween and picking a few of these products. One thing that you may need to think about though is the duration of the store is probably only going to be good for this month and also your marketing budget is going to need to be at a pretty decent level because you're going to need to be very aggressively pushing your store and marketing it during October so you can make those key Halloween sales. Another thing too is the fact that this is a limited time store so just focus on trying to scale this as quick as possible now with those things out of the way let's jump into the 10 products which i'm going to recommend for you guys to try out this month okay so here we are on aliexpress guys now one key thing i forgot to mention during the introduction of this video is also the shipping times is very crucial you may lose a little bit of profit with these stores because we're using the limited time of halloween and the store's only going to be successful for mainly this month this means that these long duration of shipping times where you wait 30 days to three months to to actually ship a product to the consumer that's not going to cut it okay so if you're creating a store around these winning products for october you need to consider paying higher for those more premium shipping times okay which may cut into your profits and make you less money but it will mean that you can make it for the deadline of the end of the month and to fulfill those orders so do consider that also if you do want to try and find some alternatives to aliexpress some suppliers which actually have much faster shipping times i do actually have a video which i created very recently on alternatives to AliExpress, a list of around five or six different websites that you can use to fulfill products much cheaper and also quicker to the consumer. So if you want to ship things out in one to two weeks, that's going to be the answer. So I'm going to link that in the description of this video because that's a real key important video that you need to watch if you want to have faster shipping times during this Halloween season. Very important. But you can, of course, pay for more premium shipping on AliExpress too. So let's jump into it, shall we? So the first product I'm going to show you are these decorative latex ears so these products are not particularly solving a problem for the theme of this video these are kind of like fancy dress dress up products because a lot of people are going to be going in fancy dress they're going to be dressing up as scary halloween characters or their favorite people from movies and these are the kind of products that you're going to sell they're just fun gimmick products cheap products that people are going to buy obviously girls like to wear these kind of cute elf ears so that's a product which you could probably sell and they come in a few different types okay different light and dark colors different pointed shapes to them and different themes so fairy ears, elf ears, and they're made out of rubber latex. So these are pretty cheap products, of course. It really depends which ones you buy. £1.67 is quite cheap for a unit, okay? So if I search this in Google, and I just convert this to dollars for my US viewers, which will be the majority of you, that's still under $2, okay? That's like $1.85 that you're paying for these. And you could probably sell them for like $4.99. You can definitely scale them up a little bit, but you're not going to be selling these ears for $15.99 or something extortionate. But remember, you're going to have to consider your shipping times the higher shipping cost to try and send these out in time for halloween so the profit on each unit is obviously going to be much lower with all these products but these are fun cute halloween items they're made of latex and they have a few different colors and they're mainly for halloween right and these go with costumes that people will be wearing during this holiday season now these particular items could obviously sell at different times of the year because they're not specifically like dark halloween style and they would kind of sell just generally throughout the year for fancy dress for an example but how often are people going to go to fancy dress parties and how many units of these are you going to sell? Probably not much, only during Halloween time. So I'd recommend only selling these during October time, but they look pretty cool. They basically attach onto someone's normal ear to make them look like they've got elf ears. And a lot of people will be wearing these in fancy dress. You could probably sell a few hundred or thousand of these if you just push them throughout this month. And obviously if we go into the reviews, we can give an example of people wearing them. They actually do look pretty cool. As you can see, there's quite a lot of people who have reviewed them, dressing up as their favorite characters. A lot of people are wearing these. I mean, some guys are wearing them too, so it's not just going to be females who are buying these. It really depends who's dressing up as what. A lot of young people seem to buy these ears, so they might be a good product to sell to children who will probably wear them. And obviously, people, depending on their fashion style, might want to buy these too. So there's a high potential that you can sell a lot of these guys. Next up is another costume item. This is basically like a weird, creepy spider, okay? Now, you can do quite a few different things with this. You can see this lady has it on her ear, and also it splits into two different parts. It can be 
a decorative piece where you can put it on a surface where it looks like it's a creepy spider. But it splits into two halves and it kind of doubles down as an ear stud. So you can see this is an ear stud slash earring for Halloween parties. So it splits in half and then you can see when it splits in half, it has the pin in the middle and then you can put that through an ear piercing hole. So you can actually wear these on your ears as kind of like a spooky trinket or spooky earring, which is pretty cool. And we already have a video made of the product, which we can just put directly onto TikTok or something. So a lot of these products already have product videos and some high quality pictures of people wearing them that we can edit together to kind of change those videos if you want an idea of what to use for your ad. And they look pretty cool. It kind of just looks like there's a spider crawling through your earlobe or poking through it. It looks like a pretty cool decorative piece. And quite a lot of people might want to wear this as like a Halloween ornament or Halloween piece of jewelry. And yet again, this is just seasonal products. I wouldn't recommend selling these at any other time of the year because they're not going to be very long lasting in terms of the lifespan. But this is a pretty cool, neat product, which I like the look of too, right? So this might be pretty cool to sell. And of course, not all of these products are going to have a lot of sales on them because some of them are newer. Some of them have only sold a certain amount of units, but a lot of them have like thousands of orders. Like this has 3000 orders, 4.8 out of five stars. So that's a high quality product already from seeing that. And then the next one is this terrifying set of masks. So you've probably seen these in movies, kind of like horror animal masks, which I think will be extremely good to sell. These are very high quality masks. Okay. Now you can see this has 3000 orders and another 4.8 stars. And we have a few different types. Okay. We have this horrible, terrifying bunny mask. And also these two, I guess, teddy bear, evil teddy bear masks. They kind of remind me of those characters from Friday Night at Freddy's. I think the game's called like that Freddy Fazbear game. That's a horror video game. It reminds me of the characters from that. And you can see they look quite terrifying. Like if you rolled up to some kind of Halloween party in this thing, I think a lot of people would be pretty scared. So this is another product you could consider selling. And you can look at the reviews. They're quite high quality, especially for the actual price. Now, this is a wearable mask, right? It does look a little bit cheap on some of these photos, but for the price, £1.56, guys. If we convert that to dollars, you're paying $1.73 per one of these mask units. Just to see the quality of this product, that's pretty dirt cheap. You could definitely sell these masks for like $9.99. I think it'd be pushing it to sell it for $15, but you could definitely sell this for quite a high amount because it looks like it's worth more than $2, right? And if we look in the comments, this is what the mask looks like. Like. It's like a front mask. It's not a helmet style mask. It's just kind of like one that you attach onto the front of your face. So it's a mask, not like a helmet piece. And as you can see, the reviews are pretty good and the quality of the product looks pretty high. I mean, there's a lot of creative ways that you can market this specific product too. If you have a lot of editing skills, if you're good with a camera or if you know how to do film, you could just film like a short scale horror style movie ad or horror trailer for this mask and then advertise it as that you're selling the mask. Like there's so many creative ways to actually advertise this, especially because it doesn't have a specific video made for the mask. So you're going to have to be creative in terms of creating the ad. And because you don't have an ad already pre-made, you're going to have to order some samples of this beforehand. It's very possible to sell this for the Halloween season, but you're going to have to pay for very good shipping to get a sample of it for yourself. You're going to have to quickly roll out an ad, which you can use on TikTok or Facebook, for example. But this is a pretty cool product. I think just because it's so spooky and sinister and a little bit different to what we usually see, I think this could be kind of a pretty cool product that people people could just buy out of the pure wow factor for what it is, right? Then the next one is my favorite products, which I'm going to show you guys, or at least one of the two of my favorites that I featured in this list. And this is this mask, which is based off of those Purge movies. So if you've ever seen The Purge or the franchise The Purge, it's basically a movie where there's an event every single year where crime is legal for 24 hours. So people can go out, they can plunder, they can loot, they can burgle places. I think they can even kill and go around with guns and all that. And basically it's a super dangerous thing. The movie's pretty cool right and all these people they wear these really spooky masks in the movies which makes it so much more intense and these are actually based off the movie so these are halloween led light based neon masks which are based off the purge movie so a lot of people they want to look scary they could definitely wear this to commemorate the movie and it's kind of like almost one of those white anonymous masks but with some led lights on it it looks pretty spooky as you can see it comes in so many different colors now the price of the units really vary the prices are kind of really random and all over the place. Like this one's four pounds, probably like $6. This one's eight pounds 50, which is probably like 12 or $13. So the prices really vary depending on the shapes and colors. So they're not very consistent, but these are just really unique items. Now, when we're doing seasonal items or items which don't really solve a certain problem or items for an event, it needs to be super unique. It needs to have that wow factor. It needs to be different than what other people have seen before to actually make that sale because it's not solving a personal stress or problem they have. So this is one of those products, which is just crazy. I think you could definitely make a viral TikTok short video with this mask. Like
maybe you could use the mask to prank your friend and then use that to then sell the product off the back of that viral TikTok. Or you could just make some kind of spooky trailer with it. Yet again, just like the previous product, so many creative ways to use this mask, okay? And this is really cool. It's basically powered by two AA batteries. So you'll need to mention that when you're selling the product that you're not going to supply the batteries unless you want to also supply the batteries too in kind of like a package deal. That would also be a pretty cool thing that you could do. And it's a PVC plastic mask, which uses wires and electronics. So do take those into consideration when selling it. Make sure people know that you're going to include or not include the batteries and what the materials are and just use all of these photos and video media to your advantage in selling the product because there's some really cool stuff here. And you can put all of these on your product page too. It shows all the electronics that you're going to have to maybe put on your belt or on your trousers when wearing it. The product seems to have some pretty good feedback. It's very well received. So this means that a lot of people are already enjoying this. So just get on the back of this product now. The mask itself doesn't really seem like the best quality, but when it lights up at night, that's what makes it look really cool and imposing. So this is a really cool product to keep your eye on. I haven't seen a lot of people trying to sell yet. Then we have some cool children or female bracelet ideas. So if you've seen some of my winning product videos before, we always talk about female products either in the beauty or the jewelry niches. And I think jewelry is a pretty cool niche because a lot of people, they want to look good. They want to wear different unique types of trinkets and bracelets on themselves. And they always seem to do well, right? And I remember as a kid, even I used to wear like a lot of rubber bands to school. I remember it was like a big craze when I was young. All of us would wear these different colored rubber bands that we'd get out of these dispensers. So it's kind of going back to that whole theme, right? So these are kids ring bracelets and wristbands, which are made out of rubber. And they're in the style of different Halloween characters and things like gingerbread men, pumpkins, witches. There's a lot of decorative kind of characters and cartoons on these, which make them look pretty cute. And they come in the different styles of rings and bracelets. And you can see we have 520 units of sold and it's 4.9, that's nearly five star rating. So the quality is obviously up there. And you can see these units are pretty cheap. We even have these key rings or these little chains that we can order. And they're also selling some other products in here too, like this blood necklace, which you could take a look at. There's a lot of random products which are unrelated to this one that they're also selling on the same listing, like these candy canes. So you could use these maybe for a Christmas store later on. But the main focus is these bands. I think these are really cute and cool. I'm not sure how you could create a video around these, but these are the kind of things that kids buy. I just know from my own childhood that I used to buy these kind of things, not with these faces on. They were just the normal colored bands with like some printed text on them. But this is the kind of stuff that kids wear, right? So I think these are very scalable and marketable. And a lot of people who want to go to school for a certain season might want to wear these, have a cool unique character on them. So I think you could also sell these too. And since they're these cheap rubber products, the price of the units are very low and you could probably sell them for double. I wouldn't really market these as very expensive though, because they're probably not worth 10 pounds or $10 for an example. I would keep them low. I think the profit per unit you're going to make on each of these products is probably very low too, but they will sell a lot of units. So you're going to have to sell a lot of units, but you can make a lot of profit off the back of selling a lot of units. But I think you're going to have to sell a lot of these to actually make a good profit because you're going to have to mark them up at a very low price. So I think the profit margins are going to be quite small. The next one is these luminating spiders. These are kind of like glow in the dark spiders. These are just decorations, right? When you go around to people's houses on Halloween, they always have decorations all around the house. People in a neighborhood, they always try and battle each other or go against each other to see who can have the best decorated house, who can have the coolest things on Halloween and at Christmas. And this is just another one of those cool ornamental items that you can take advantage of. So it's like normal tiny spiders, which you can put on a surface and decorate on and people might come downstairs and look in the kitchen and it'll make them jump like they're thinking why is there all these spiders here right that's the kind of thing which we're doing here and we have a few different shapes we have bats in orange and green and spiders as well in those same colors so basically they'll look normal in the daytime and be kind of spooky but at nighttime they'll have this cool glow in the dark kind of light whitey green color so these are luminous and they glow in the dark and you can also put these on those fake webs to make them look more sinister and basically when you order these they come in a packet of 50 pieces and they're made of plastic and you can decorate them on literally anything and especially if you put them in a dark room they'll look super super cool it's just a bag of these plastic items it's just another cheap decorative product guys there's so many options that we can use to sell on halloween in a store because these products are probably very generic i would actually recommend potentially trying to just make a general store website right so during halloween you could just make a spooky general product store and you could just try and sell all of these in there because people might be just doing shopping for halloween and just think okay there's one cool thing I've stumbled upon. Let's just throw the rest in the basket and order all these cool things. And come Halloween, we'll have all these cool fancy dress things, things to decorate my house with. You could sell all of these at the same time in a 
general store. All of these products are not very good for a one product store. I wouldn't personally make a one product store around these little spiders because I think the store will flop and fail. But if you make a general store with all these products, definitely scalable, definitely could make some sales. You could, even if you don't make much money, you could definitely make a few hundred dollars or maybe a couple of thousand dollars during Halloween just from selling some of these if you can sell enough units. Now, I've tried not to include franchise specific characters. Now, this mask is based off Ghostface, which is the murderer character off, you know, the movie Scream where he has the ghost mask and the knife. This is kind of like a generic mask though. I don't think when people look at this, they think of ghost face i don't think it's copyright i think it's a generic mask for an example if we sold a michael myers mask it would probably be a different story but this is just another mask so this has 1300 orders 4.8 stars and a ton of reviews that we can import into our shopify store with a plugin and there's a cool amount of images which we can use too and also since this is such a generic product that there's thousands like this right from the past you can go and google and have like an almost endless library of pictures of masks that look like this and videos that look like this too so when you go and create a video you can go and cut them up together and edit them and it'll be very easy to make a video like i said use the same strategy maybe use this video in a prank and put it on tiktok or maybe make some horror trailer using it you have a red mask and a white mask and they come in a few different visual styles some of them are goofy some of them are scary you can just leverage each of them for a completely different theme for your video and this is just fancy dress right there's not really too much to say about it but these are the kind of products which people love to buy in halloween next one is kind of blending the halloween style and merging it with the whole genre or niche of baking and kitchenware and that's these halloween cake decoration sets so a lot of girls love to bake a lot of women love to bake and make cakes and a lot of kids like to bake and make cakes too during halloween they might want to make cupcakes muffins things like that and basically these are cake toppers in the style of things like witches ghosts pumpkins and they can top the cakes with these little ornaments you can see so they can make a cupcake like these shown in the picture and put a little witch's hat on them a little spider pumpkin or a bat or a cobweb on and it just makes them look a little bit more friendly a little bit more vibrant and it makes the cakes look more decorative right and they actually look really nice and attractive and some of them are kind of silly like i'm not sure what these are specifically made out of but they look homemade at the same time too which is kind of a good thing because when you buy these people will think that you've personally made them so that might also encourage more people to buy them so they can kind of look like they've made them themselves so these kind of cake toppers just a little trinket that we can put on the top of cakes and baked goods and then we can give them as a gift i think these are also items you can sell too during this month because a lot of people will be baking cakes giving away sweets when people go trick-or-treating these are the kind of products that you can sell right very simple products as long as they have a decent number of orders and a good star rating definitely something which we should not look past then we have these now these are kind of random right they're not really halloween specific but it goes with the whole fancy dress thing now during halloween not everybody dresses up as their favorite horror characters people dress up as their favorite characters from video games from movies from tv series that are not really horror related so so these are the kind of products you can still make use of to sell. Now these are colourful luminous glasses which are kind of LED based goggles a little bit like those purge masks which make use of LED lights. So it's kind of like a plastic rim set of glasses which we can wear and they illuminate with lights with the LED lights which are built into the circuitry. They have a strobe and breathing feature, they have a colour gradient and a highlight mode and basically different combinations of shades of colours and you can see there's quite a few different colours they can actually change into and I think you can change the color on the same pair of glasses you don't order a color specific one i think you can change the color and there's a video here which we in preview of the glasses you can see she's pressing the buttons this lady and she's just changing the colors on demand this is just a really cool product that a lot of people are gonna like and we have a flashing feature which i'm not sure how that i'd be when you actually wear them i feel like that'd probably hurt your eyes but this is a really cool product right it reminds me of a character off that game overwatch where she has those twin pistols if you play games then if you know you'll know but this is kind of like a video game inspired set of of goggles it's like a really cool visor and the price is very cheap five pounds 34 in dollars that's 5.92 so this is like a six dollar item you could definitely sell this for 10 or 15 just because of how unique it is and you can make a pretty decent profit margin on this so i particularly like this product it really stood out to me so i think this is a cool one not to look past and the last product i'm going to feature is perhaps my favorite product and one that i've actually been considering about trying to drop ship during halloween for quite a few months now actually because i saw this advertised last year but i didn't see many people actually making use of this and i thought it might actually be a pretty cool product because it's a fancy dress item but it also has a gimmick with it and if you've watched any of my previous videos you know that if i look at products which could potentially sell i'm always looking for a 
cool gimmick with it too to make it kind of have that boom factor if people see it so during halloween a lot of people wear those fake plastic vampire fangs right so their teeth look like that they're sharp and they have these sharp predatory canines like vampires the really cool thing about this one is these are cosplay vampire fangs but they're actually retractable so you don't just open your mouth and you have vampire teeth they actually come up and down kind of like a realistic set of vampire teeth like what they do in horror movies so that's the gimmick that they're actually retractable teeth which is actually really cool because that's so unique i don't see that so as you can see they come in this little box over here they're pretty easy to actually attach on and basically these are retractable fangs which can be used for fancy dress that are adjustable so if you scroll down you can see these are made out of plastic and they're pretty small and unique in shape it's cool for dressing up and giving as a gift and it's great during the halloween season okay these vampire fangs actually come up and down and are retractable that's the whole gimmick of them unfortunately i don't have a specific video here to show you guys if we can go through the reviews we might be able to kind of see what the products look like not exactly what you'd expect from a set of vampire fangs if you've actually worn any in the past on halloween not exactly the same thing i mean the box they come in look like some kind of airpods box as well so that's actually pretty funny these kind of products you want to look for are really unique ones right and you can see this lady wearing them they actually look really good as well so this is definitely probably the main product i would actually look at trying to market so this is definitely a sellable product for halloween i would take a look at all 10 of these products and try and consider which one you think is the best and which one you can personally market based off your skill set and your admiration for the product because if you like it more and if you think it's personally sellable you'll probably be able to sell it and i'd make use of tiktok specifically to try and sell all these products because it's just the easiest way right now if this video was valuable and helpful in your drop shipping endeavors make sure to give the video a like and subscribe for more business and drop shipping videos and money making content on this channel and also follow me on instagram at the blue crusader thanks guys i'll see you next time